I'll talk about PTSD. This is something that affects me on a daily basis, sometimes worse than others. For those of you who know, you can probably assume why my husband's death. Um, but for those of you who don't know me, I became a widow four years ago. My husband, Justin, was shot and killed in front of me in my home. I was devastated. I was petrified of windows. I was petrified of guns, loud noises, startling sensations. So those are the things that usually affect me the most. Those are the main things that usually trigger me. So I do want to talk about what PTSD is. I'm going to read it off of the mayoclinic.org. It says, post-traumatic stress disorder, aka PTSD, is a mental health condition that is triggered by a terrifying event, either experiencing it or witnessing it. Symptoms may include flashbacks, nightmares, and severe anxiety, as well as uncontrollable thoughts about the event. If the symptoms get worse, last for months or even years, and interfere with your day-to-day -day functioning, you may have PTSD. So that's the clinical definition of PTSD. Um, most of that is exactly how PTSD affects me. We just had the 4th of July. I find it odd that we celebrate our nation's independence with fireworks, <laughs> seeing as a lot of war veterans have PTSD. And PTSD is triggered by loud popping noises. Loud noises altogether, especially popping noises that resemble guns, or war for that matter. This year, I really wanted to take my son to see the fireworks, because now he's four. So I decided I'll get those um, noise-proof headphones and I'll wear them. And I was the only person amongst thousands of people with headphones on and it felt strange. But I said, you know what, WTF. I had somebody say to me, don't you think you're just playing into it a little bit, Jessica? Don't you think that, you know, you're just playing into the drama of the situation? It made me live it. Why would I want to pretend to be jumpy or to be afraid or to be nervous. Why would I want to pretend to do that? My life has enough drama and problems. There is no need to create more. So if any of you might think that somebody is putting on or exaggerating or playing into the drama as it was said to me, please keep it to yourself. You can think it, but to say it to somebody who is actually trying to function with this problem, it's uncalled for and it's disrespectful. There you have it. I can be a little sensitive every now and then. Um, just to give you an example, I got my feelings hurt. Something as stupid as a text. I just let it just, just destroy my day. Just let this thing just brew inside of me and just make me so angry, upset, hurt. And my fiance said to me, you know Jess, I just don't understand why you let this teeny tiny thing disrupt your life today. And I said, what was that? It's my PTSD. It can be hidden and the little insignificant things that don't matter. The emotional stuff is sometimes what's harder to deal with. And for those of you out there who do have PTSD, I understand what you're going through. Some have it worse than others. I don't claim to have it the worst. But sometimes people forget. They forget in the everyday what it is that you're going through. 
and just how hard the simplest things can be. Why would anyone want to pretend to be hurt, or to pretend to be dramatic, whatever, dramatic? I personally don't. And I don't think other people do as well. I think we all want to get better. I have an appointment with my counselor tomorrow because I need to talk to someone who can help me better understand it because I'm trying. I've been navigating it for four years now and every time it's something different. I want to thank you guys for being supportive. I make these videos like this hoping to help other people who are going through these issues. What I do believe in is the ability to try to do something good with the bad that you've been given. I'm trying to help others. I'm trying to help myself. I certainly don't have it all figured out at my age. But I hope that I can better navigate my future given my past. If you're somebody struggling with PTSD and you feel alone, know that you're not alone. There are all kinds of online groups and websites where you can talk to other people. I'm a member of three widow groups on Facebook. Go and join those. It helps to be in the same boat as somebody else because those around you that don't have PTSD don't understand. No matter how hard they try, they never will. It's your job to find somebody who can help you through it. Thank you so much for tuning in to my video. So find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash the singing widow. Follow me on Instagram. Find my website, the singing widow.com. Thank you. Take care.